Good morning, Daily Huddlers. I am coming to you from the Atlanta airport. <laughs> and I actually have something funny to share that happened to me on the way here. <laughs> so I'm in my airplane seat and this gentleman sits down beside me and I say, hi, how are you? He says, fine, thanks. I love you. <laughs> and I was like, well, wow, I love you too. <laughs> he goes, no, I'm talking to my grandma. <laughs> But I said, too late, I'm receiving that love and I'm going to spread it forward. So that's what we're going to do today. You can roll that tape, Lizette. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Daily Huddler. So I was kind of stressed about finding a joke this morning and uh, then something funny happened. So I'm glad I could kick us off with spreading some love. I also want to kick us off um, by asking some questions to get us all here together and in the right headspace. So I think I'm going to start with Miss Jacqueline Kennedy because I'm excited that she's here today. So could you please tell me this morning, how are you and what are you grateful for? Hmm, I am how I say I am. And this morning I am fabuloso. Well, not to be mixed up with fabuloso, but fabulous. I love it. I love it. I am grateful for life. I am grateful oh. to be here. I'm grateful to be on the daily huddle after a very long period. Oh, such a great reminder. I'm delighted that you and your spirit are here with us. And I haven't seen my dear Thank friend you. Andrea in a while. So I must ask you. How are you today? I am the way I say I am, and I'm going to steal Jacqueline's. I'm fabulosa. Mm, I love it. Lots of fabulous people. So tell me also, Andrea, what time is it? The time is now. The That's only right. time. That's right. And I've got one more question for Mr. Jerry Ham, and then we're going to dig into the introduction of our guest. Mr. Jerry Ham. Who might you hug today? Uh, first and most importantly, my wife. Oh, oh, bless her. I'm glad that she gets a hug from you today. That's great to hear. So we are this morning on the Daily Huddle talking about all things communication and relationships. That's our theme for Wednesday because we know that more effective communication builds better relationships which build better families, better business, better community. And we have a gentleman here with us today who is going to share how he has developed relationships to build his business. So let me share a little bit with you all about Mark Ham. Mark is the owner of Pro Web Firm. He currently provides web design graphics, marketing, social media engagement, and search engine optimization to hundreds of clients. Mark is the quintessential entrepreneur. He leads a team that is not only product and service focused, they also excel in managing their own sales and marketing strategies. Before Pro Web Firm, Mark founded United in Service, a company geared toward assisting nonprofit organizations in need of web design and technology. Now, it's clear that Mark is a business owner by choice and design. He formerly worked at Citibank on Wall Street as a web developer and graphic designer. At Citibank New York Midtown, he was the lead graphics designer for all bank presentations. Mark holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in communication from Uppsala College out of New Jersey, and we are delighted that you're here today. Good morning and welcome, Mark Ham. Good morning, good morning, and thank you for having me. I am so glad to be here. Well, I am delighted to see you. And I also have to brag on my brand new background that uh, Mark actually designed for me. So <laughs> now I'm a pro even in the Atlanta airport. So thank you for that. Um, you know, I've been thinking about this question about what your network is worth. And before we can think about what a network is worth, we have to have a network, right? We have to build one and we have to keep it healthy. So I wanna share a little something about myself and see how you might be able to help me and all of our listeners. 
you know, this morning, the gentleman sat down beside me on the airplane and I was like, hi, how are you? That's natural for me. But if I'm in a setting with 50, 60 people all having kind of networking conversations, that just about shuts me down. I can do it, but it's very hard for me. So I want to hear what's natural for you, Mark, in networking and how you've used what's natural for you to build your network, which I know is vast. Well, in order to answer that question, I have to tell you a short story. Please. Uh, I moved from New Jersey to McDonough, Georgia, uh, 19 years ago. And uh, the first thing I looked for was a church. And I called the church and a nonprofit organization, and the church never called back. But the nonprofit organization did feed my people out of Stockbridge, Georgia. And I went there in hopes of just donating my time while my son was getting acclimated to school. Uh, and so I went, I wasn't working yet. So I, I went there every day uh, to help them. Uh, and they had a food pantry. And uh, one day we're stacking uh, food and cans on the shelves. The director of Feed My People came over and said, Mark, what do you want to do with your life? What do, what do you want to do? And I told her I wanted to build websites and fix computers. And she told me, put those cans down and come on here in the back. And so I went in the back stock room and there were computers stacked to the ceiling. She said, I want you to take three of these and fix them. We're gonna sell them in our thrift store up front and you take the rest and you start your business. And before a tear could roll out my eye, she says, we're not done there. I'm gonna introduce you to a man by the name of David Allman who is starting a web design business and he fixes computers. And I was like, wow, you know, that's exactly what I want to do. And so she, she told me to call David and I, for some reason, didn't. I didn't call him. About 10 days went by. I had what they call, you want to succeed, but you're a little scared, a little frightened to get going. And so 10 days went by. She said, hey, did you talk to David? And I said, no, I didn't call him. She said, come on here. She took me, put me in the car. We went to a meeting where David Allman was. Uh, we shook hands and uh, he said, hey, I'm starting a business, but I won't be able to pay you uh, for a couple of months. And I said, I don't care, I just wanna get going. And so I worked for David Allman in unitedinservice.com. Uh, and uh, it was basically helping nonprofit organizations build websites and do their IT. And soon uh, we became partners. Uh, he would uh, go get the check, write up the contract, book the meeting, and I would do the rest of the work. I'd build all the websites, I'd do everything. And so it was an 80-20 split. And once we got going, I knew that I was going to start my own business. And so I told David, hey, at some point I'm going to start my own. And so February 2nd, 2005, birth pro web firm. And uh, at that point, I, I uh, bought David out. Uh, he worked for me. Uh, and it was just crazy to work for someone, then become partners, and then now that partner works for you. Um, and so it gave me a great start to get going. And the main thing, the main thing I want people to take out of this story is I didn't get there by myself. Um, I got there through a network of people who believed in me, who supported me, and who had my back, and who didn't take no for an answer. Even when I was a little slow to go and call this guy who could help me get going, they said, well, you're taking too long. Come on, let's go. And it was it was God ordained, destined for me to meet these people, to be in that place, to move forward. And it made the, the difference for me starting my business because I had a network of people mm -hmm. that would not let me fail. And that same director kept sending business to me. She kept sending people who needed their computers fixed, people who needed websites. And the network just grew and grew and grew. And um, so what, do you, what do you attribute that growth to? Because what you do, you're in a very competitive space. Yes. So uh, I, 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 it sounds like referrals. I understand that. But um, uh, those referrals could be one and done. Yes. Well, I'm glad you asked that because the main secret sauce to Pro Web Firm and myself is great customer service. That's what we get. We go above and beyond. Uh, and, and honestly, we don't just give great customer service. We're a resource for people. 
Um, people call us all the time from different businesses, different walks of life and say, hey, um, you know, I got to get my house painted. You know anybody? And I'll say, yeah, yeah, I do. And I'll go to the re that uh, Rolodex and uh, pull out a couple of names and send them to them. And they'll say, thank you, you know, appreciate it and get the work done. And they come back and they always, they're always uh, thankful mm -hmm. uh, that I sent them someone who was already vetted, who I believe in, I know their work, they're good. They didn't have to go through a lot of red tape. They got a great professional who could, who could fill the void of what they needed. And that's what we continue to do day in and day out. We help people first. We don't just sell them a website and go, good luck, have a good day. We <laughs> check on them, we call them, we uh, introduce them to people. Uh, part two of my story, if I can fit it in real quick. No, don't, no, no, real quick. This is absolutely fascinating. And I think so many lessons are coming out of this. So go for it. We're, my son and I, we're living in McDonough, Georgia in an apartment, a luxury apartment complex. And I got my business going. I told my son, hey, you take care of the house, you cook, you clean, I'm gonna start this business. And we had a third bedroom. I had this big old desk. You couldn't fit nothing else in there but the desk. And because I had no clients, I got out and networked every day, four or five times a day. I would go to the early morning breakfast, the mid morning, the lunch, the after work, then the after after work, you know. So these know. are like rotary and networking events. Yep. That what you yep. Okay. Chamber events, local events. Uh, yeah. All over the place. Okay. And so I'm in McDonough and Stockbridge networking. And um, I tried to introduce people to other people who would help them in business, but I couldn't seem to to get them on the phone at the same time. There was no Zoom back then. So I threw a party. I threw a party. Uh, we had a clubhouse at the apartment. And so I hired a caterer, a friend of mine who catered, and she made collard greens, mac and cheese, fried chicken. We had music, a DJ. We had a bar. And uh, all, I invited these clients that I had been meeting and working together. I invited them into one place. And they had a great time. They enjoyed the food. They enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the company. And at that time, I was able to say, hey, Andrea, uh, meet Rashida. You two need to talk. You can help each other. And that's exactly what happened. They worked together for the next year. They praised my name. They kept saying, man, uh, man, he threw a great party. He introduced me to somebody who grew my business. And I did that for a few different people. And I ate off of that for a year based on giving them a good referral, the business kept coming back to me. They needed business cards, they needed flyers, they needed menus, they needed web updates, mm -hmm. and they just were thankful. And so I actually stumbled upon uh, a secret. Okay. Throw, pe throw people a good time while you're doing business and they will continue patronizing your business. And so I continued throwing events once a year, big to-dos, Lake Lanier, mm -hmm boat rides, uh, stay in a, a luxury house on a lake and just all kinds of things, uh, restaurants downtown or in Midtown, uh, inviting people out, doing comedy, having singers, entertainment. Uh, wow. it, just, it just breaks up the monotony of mm -hmm. going to a networking event, shaking somebody's hand, giving them a business card. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's yeah. what we still do is networking. And okay, I know so you asked me a question about that, Bertie. <laughs> well, yeah, so I, I want to kind of summarize what I've learned and you tell me if I'm, if I'm on point. <laughs> um, you threw a party, didn't promote yourself, didn't talk about your business, but you promoted your, the people there to each other. Correct. So they, they left having had a great time and feeling like you cared about them and their experience before getting their business. Is that, am I? You're 100% correct. Okay. Absolutely outstanding. So in a sense, that's, that's your secret sauce for networking. It's just take care of people, treat them well, enjoy them, get to know them. Exactly. The same thing that the Daily Huddle is doing coming up uh, with Sorrell. He's throwing a party uh, coming up to bring all the Daily, daily Huddlers together. That's what I've been doing for years is just throwing uh, good events to advertise people 
and to introduce them to others who can help them grow their business. Good, good networkers. I, and I, I'm very selective when I do a party uh, to invite the right kind of people. I don't just invite everybody. Okay, so tell us a little bit about that. What do you mean by the right kind of people? Well, I look for people who are num first, first and foremost, positive. Uh, positive people have a way of influencing others to want to do business with them or to get to know them. I also invite people who are very well connected, uh, people who have a good network of people or uh, have something to give besides products and services. Um, yeah. I invite people who understand networking and what it means. Uh, some of the people that I've met over the years, uh, you know, I've been in business 18 years. So people I've met 15 years ago networking, I still talk with them. We still pass referrals. And so those are the kind of people I plug into the network so that when you meet someone, you're like, wow, you know, it would take years to meet someone like this. And here you just hand them over uh, at a meeting. And so people who are very well connected, very educated, uh, very responsible to business leads uh, mm -hmm. are the people I kind of look for. You know what I'm not hearing from you, which just delights my soul, is you're not, you haven't said one thing about sales, sales strategy, sales tactics, open ended questions, how to close them on the third. You haven't done any of that. You just continue to, it sounds like, work very hard and take care of people. How have you managed this network and remained relevant and memorable as the network has grown? Uh, being true to self, uh, I would say, is, is what it is. I enjoy the people that I meet. Uh, I become, I build friendships. Uh, I see Stan Anderson on here today. Um, I met Stan Anderson at uh, Every Dot Black meeting, uh, uh, being, a, being a speaker. And I don't sell people. That's not what I do. Um, matter of fact, when I go to networking events, I go in there to find out what they do, uh, how I can help, how I can be a resource, uh, what, what are their problems in business, what, what can I do to be a problem solver and help you grow your business? Um, I just believe if you treat people right, it'll come back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not, a, I'm not a salesy person. I'm very good at what I do, yes, but I'm not a salesy person. And that just sets us apart from people. Uh, you ever go to an event on Zoom and you meet people and before you can get to your LinkedIn, you've got inbox messages of them telling you all the products and services that they can do for you. That's not what I do. Um, I connect with people on a real level, on a friendship level, on a mind level, mental. Mm -hmm. um, more so, what can I do to help? Right. Um, that's, that's the approach I come from. And service products and services are secondary because maybe you don't even need my products and services. So I need to find out what it is you need. You might need to go to business coaching and talk to Sorrel. Uh, so mm -hmm. you know, it just depends on what your needs are. I, I don't sell people. I, I um, evaluate them. I help them. I try to have good conversations with them and learn them and connect. Okay. So I'm glad you brought that up about LinkedIn because somebody somewhere must be having success with that because we all get those messages. When I get messages that just come in and say, here's all the things I can do. Are you interested? I always say no, but if I can help you with this messaging, I'm at your service. <laughs> it hadn't worked out for me so far. So how do you work in LinkedIn to keep your network robust and authentic? Uh, so LinkedIn uh, has been very good uh, as far as maintaining relationships. Uh, and I do sometimes reach out to people on LinkedIn uh, that we're connected to more than one person or more than one group. Okay. Uh, uh, and I'll give them the opportunity to talk, just stay on LinkedIn, not in a rush. It's kind of like when you're going out on a first date and you meet at the bar or something, you're not trying to get married on the first date. You need to date, court, get to know each other. And so that's what I do. I just build relationships. And so whether it's on social media or off, I'll set up maybe a one-on-one -on -one with them and just talk, see if there's any synergy, okay. um, see what they do, let them know what I do if they ask. 
and uh, just build a relationship, mm -hmm. not in a rush to sell them something. So uh, I think this is a, a really some really powerful, insightful and helpful information to anyone who's running a business. And I think that you say that you don't rush and you're not trying to sell. And I think that many people find themselves nervous and they think this is an opportunity and they have to sell. And you've been able to put that in the background. And I imagine it's because you truly believe in your ability to keep your word, to be authentic, to take good care of people. Because if you didn't believe in that, I think you wouldn't be able to relax and just serve, lead with that servant mentality. Well, a lot of people go out the door every day and they looked at their bills that morning and say, well, I need to make X number, X number of dollars to pay these bills. What am I going to do? I got to go sell somebody. And so they go with the wrong mindset and the wrong, wrong headspace. Um, and that's what I do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Not worried about how many clients I need to get today and this and that. I don't worry about that. My approach is to establish good relationships, be true to who I am. Uh, love on people, help people, be a resource, uh, be there to answer questions. And one day, if they need my services, fine. If they don't, at least I have a friend or a colleague. Most people look for a client. Mm -hmm. I look for a referral partner. Wow. So, that's, someone that's who's so going to send multiple clients to me, not a one and done. A client, okay. If you get a client, they might be a good client and you, you help them once and they're gone. No, we, we build repeat clients. Got it. Got it. So I think we might be dancing around the actual question, but you designed it. So I want to, I really want to hear um, before we open it up to questions. Um, I want to hear about uh, the actual question for today, which is what is your network worth? Tell me about uh, the answer to that question. Your network is worth everything. You've always heard it's not what you know, it's who you know. Um, it gives you validity, credibility, and a reference. How many times you go for a job interview and they ask you that question, uh, can you give us three references? Um, if you don't have a network, you ain't got a reference to pass in the first place. And so a network would take you places that your talents and abilities cannot. And I found a secret sauce to combine all of that. Uh, whatever talents and abilities I have, I have it emerged in a great network. And so your network is definitely your net worth. You can look in your bank account and see how good your network is. If your network is a little shady, so is your bank account. And so you can tell the people who are doing well, they are very well connected. Would you rather be introduced to someone who knows everything or someone that knows everyone. Oh man, I, that's that's I love that quote. You'd rather be somebody that knows everyone versus knows everything. And somebody put this in the chat for me because I'm in this weird space in the airport. But you you said uh, your network can take you to places that your talents and abilities cannot, and I think that is so powerful. So. Um, thank you for those powerful quotes. And uh, I do want to open it up to questions before we run out of time here. I'm sure that these entrepreneurs um, have some comments and questions for us. All right. Thank you, Sorelli. Type that quote in for me. Let's see, Ms. Rose Hampton, she has a question for us. Good morning, Rose. Good morning. Good morning, Daily Huddle family. Oh my God, it's been forever. <laughs> so nice to be with you this morning at Mark's uh, invitation. So thank you, Mark. Thank you. So yeah, so I just have a comment because uh, I have been uh, at the impact of what Mark is talking about in terms of the way he um, handles his clients or customers. He's just there for you. Mark did work on my website a few years back. I mean, he created it basically a few years back. And uh, and then recently, you know, I, I, I couldn't get access to my website. I hadn't worked with it for a while. And I, I went to log on and I couldn't log on. And I picked up the phone and he was like right there in a set. I mean, just 
in a matter of minutes, he was engaged in contacting who he knew <laughs> and what they knew that would help me to restore functionality to my website. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to once again, thank Mark for just how incredibly kind, responsive and you know, engaged. I mean, it was like we had worked together the day before. And, you know, that's what Mark brings to his, his, um, his network of both, you know, mm -hmm. referral partners and clients. And uh, it's, it's really appreciable to be able to work with somebody like that. You know, it's great, Mark. Thank you. Thank you, Rose. I feel like I should send you a fruit basket for all those compliments. <laughs> and Rose is one of the one of the sweetest uh, clients that I work with. Uh, I had two of them call me yesterday at the same time. I was on the phone with one and Rose called. And uh, just great to work with. Um, you know, Rose said something about uh, she had an issue or a problem. And that is where I shine. Mm. Uh, I, I'm a problem solver first. Love it. Uh, Love what's, it. what's the issue? I, we're not talking about the price or the cost. Well, what is it going to take to get you back going and, and uh, up like you should be? And so that's that was mm -hmm. my focus. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Rose. And I had a very similar experience with Mark very recently. Just, I mean, just so quick, so responsive, so professional. It was a fantastic experience. So, uh, Cece, I see you have a comment or question for us this morning. Yes, thank you so much, um, Mark, um, for sharing the wisdom and knowledge that you've gleaned um, around, you know, with your business and the customer service that you provide and the problems that you do solve with your customers. So thank you so much for being here to share that. That's what I got out of um, this uh, conversation. And thank you. Bye. Thank you, Miss Cece. I appreciate it. Thank you, Cece. I definitely want to, uh, we appreciate you always. I want to hear from Stan and then maybe some last words of wisdom from Mark before we have to say goodbye. So Stan, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Daily Huddle family. Mark is just a, he's just a really good guy, great guy. And he will work with you to do his best to bring about the vision that you're able to help him see you want to, you, you, that you want to actualize. And that's what I found out about him. If you can, if you can paint the picture for him, he'll really, really do his best to work with you on it. And he's the he's the reason I'm here on the Daily Huddle. And um, it was like that. Uh, the moment that we we met each other and we went into a business relationship, the next thing I knew, he wasn't inviting me out to do more business with him. He was sending me to places where he knew I needed to connect with other good people. And you can see the result of that here. So, and he's just a great guy. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank Aww. you, sir. Appreciate you, Stan. Thank you, Stan. You know, before I um, ask for any last words of wisdom, I do want to share with you all that on August 12th, we are having a party, much like Mark mentioned. Um, and it will be our day to connect and to celebrate these friendships, these relationships, and how we continue to grow together. Um, I really encourage you to join us. If you can't be there the whole day, just come for what you can. It's so affordable. <laughs> um, it's less than a, in a nice lunch in Atlanta. So go to the dailyhuddleevent.com and we'll see you on August 12th. And with that, I want to turn it over to Mark. And um, yeah, any last words of wisdom for us? Yep, very short and sweet. Your network affects your bottom line, your money. Your network affects your bottom line, your money. I, I'm not finished. I just wanted to pause because sometimes it needs to sink in and I'm going to repeat it like they do at church. Okay. Your, net, your network affects your bottom line, which is your money. And so the statement that I always say is your network is your net worth. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Um, I thought that we were going to end with that, but I think that Jacqueline popped her hand up. We got time for one more. Jacqueline, go for it. It's not a question. I just always appreciate Mark sharing his wisdom um, and not holding anything back. It's, um, it's always an honor to actually hear him speak and hear him share all of his wisdom with so many people. That's all I needed to say. Oh, thank you so much. What thank a you. genuine comment. 
We appreciate that so much. And I think that this has been a beautiful lesson for us today. As a matter of fact, it sounds like you lead your, you run your organization and you work with people uh, in, in alignment with our tenants. And so I will close this out with our tenants. And the first one is to love on people, just like you said, love people, whether they're beside you on the airplane or on a screen or at a party or at a business event, love people. And don't forget to give just like you have beautifully modeled today. Be generous with your knowledge, your talents, your abilities. Be generous and they absolutely will be returned to you. And of course, make sure that you let yourself laugh out loud. Get those endorphins flowing. They'll give you the best energy. Throw your head back and laugh today. And also help yourself to stress less by eating more plants and by getting more rest. And most importantly, maybe not most importantly, but never to be forgotten is don't forget to move that body. Thank you, Mark. Thank you all. I love you, Daisy Huddle's family, and I hope to see you on August 12th. Thank you for having me. It was a great, great uh, honor to be here. I appreciate you. It's been fantastic. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Bye now. All right. All right. See you soon.